guys welcome back to my channel this is nikki so today i'm doing my take on wedding guest makeup which is more modern more neutral and i love how this turned out i love it so much i think we all have traditional looks with red and pinks and gold eyes and everything which you can find in so many other tutorials which is like diwali karwa chauth and all those festive tutorials but this is something new something exciting you can have your bold dress and bold makeup on but it is very subtle very neutral yet very flawless and i actually spent a lot of time on my skin right here so the end result is how the makeup is looking on the camera is how it is looking in the mirror right now it's so flawless and so stunning i mean i can go out for a day wedding right now and it will look like this it's just wow so these little time and little extra steps make a world of difference to your makeup and this is what i showed you in this tutorial how to spend time on your skin to make it more flawless so just a disclaimer also this video is a little bit longer because i showed a lot of tricks and a lot of steps it is a little bit complicated as well you can say but this is the end result you get by adding these little steps your makeup will get more prettier and prettier and prettier so yeah if you want to see how i achieve this makeup look right here then please keep watching and before you move ahead please 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 make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell icon right here so you will be part of my family and do let me know in the comments below if you decide to have this look for yourself or wanna take bits and pieces from this look and create your own makeup look and do tag me in your pictures as well so yeah that's it without any further delay let's get into my video okay so the first thing we are going to do today is the first step we do in every single makeup is to prime your skin recently i'm getting bit allergic to the smashbox primer i don't know why i was using it from so many years and suddenly i'm getting rash on my skin whenever i apply it immediately after applying it so uh, today i'm using this benefit pore professional primer to the t zone of my face in this much it blurs and smooths out all your skin issues basically I love this one too, but I was more comfortable with the Smashbox one. I don't know why my skin is behaving weirdly nowadays. Yeah. I do have a pimple because I'm not getting enough sleep from last few days, so just ignore it. Also, today I'm trying a new primer from Estee Lauder. It's called the Smoother Universal Perfecting Primer. I got it recently. Let's see how it works on my skin. This is how it looks in the tube. Oh, it's very jelly kind of texture. Oh wow! It's I think silicone-based primer. And it has that cushiony effect to your skin. I like this one. Now give it few minutes to let like, settle down in your skin before starting your makeup with foundation and everything. Second step for me for any good makeup is color correcting the areas which have a little bit of darkness. For me especially is under eye area and this whole area around my mouth. This is my main problematic area. The color correctors which I love actually is one LA Pro Girl Conceal in the sh shade orange and then this Makeup Forever uh, Step One Prime Grayness Reducer and the third one which I'm loving recently on and using it on daily basis is Becca Corrector Under Eye Brightening Corrector basically in the shade dark. This one. And today I'm going to use this one. Also, and then always I go with a caramel uh, shade of this Maybelline H Rewind to cancel out any extra orangeness which I have in my skin because of the character. So I'm using this Becca one. This is this is like a perfect shade to cancel out the orangeness which I have for my skin shade. From NC 37, 38 to NC 40, this is the perfect one. I think if you're more than NC 40, you can go for a dark. There's one very dark or something a shade there which is darker than this one. You can try that one, but this is great for my skin. Okay, and with these nails, getting out the product from a pot is an issue, but yeah, I got it. So just dabbing it in my under eye area on both sides. Also over my eyelids. This works like a great eye primer for me as well. I always like to use my corrector for the eye primer because it cancels out any darkness which I have on my eyelids. And then a little bit around my mouth. Also, make sure to scrub the hell out of your face and lips before getting ready for any kind of special event, whether it's bedding or party or anything. I always like to apply my corrector with my fingers so that the warmth of my fingers makes it really blended into my skin. Once it's all corrected, I always go with this caramel shade concealer, very tiny amount, go with the corrector and again blend it with your fingers. One more point to remember here, whenever you apply your corrector, if you require it, always give a few minutes before applying foundation and everything to let it settle down in your skin and so that it will not mix up immediately with your foundation and give the orangeness to all over your skin. You need to have this product only in this area and you have to leave everything else black. So give time, a good blending, a good amount of time makes your uh, makeup long lasting and flawless. That extra effect you see on some people, it is all about time. So now it's time for the foundation and for the foundation today I'm using the Smashbox uh, Studio Skin 24 hour Hydra foundation in the shade 302 and I will apply it with a damp beauty blender like this. And what's a damp beauty blender is when you squeeze it, the water will not come out but it's damp, it's wet, you can, fingers can feel the wetness of uh, the beauty blender. And before applying one half here, I will spray it with my MAX 6 Plus. 
Gel Spray Max Fix Plus on your blender before applying the foundation makes a world of difference to your finish. I will just give a pump here and just dab it all over my skin. I'm just going to tap this into the skin and blend it. Start with the tiniest amount possible and you can work on it according to your need, step by step. Don't go in with a large amount of foundation in one go because once it's on your skin, the only thing you can do is remove it. So you start with the smallest amount and build it up. The finish of this foundation is just flawless guys, just flawless. It's not very matte, it's very satiny finish and it's runny as you can see on my hand. I'm still not touching the area where I have the corrector on. I want to give it as much time as possible. And always start by tapping your skin. Never drag the foundation with your sponge. Always tap, 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 tap. And take a good amount of time in blending your foundation. Even if you think it's done, just take extra two minutes and just tap it. Always, okay, and tap it light-handed. You don't have to go like this, this, and this. Hold your foundation from, uh, sorry, hold your sponge from here, very light-handed, and just tap it very lightly. In this way, you are working on your skin, but you are not, you know, uh, taking back the foundation from the skin. Right, and see the finish, guys. Just wow, I just love this foundation. And now I am taking the foundation. And when you are on the correct, okay, I need a little more, I think. Just a pump more. And when you are over your character area, just tap more lightly. It will get blended with time. Take time tapping it, but don't put any pressure. And your finish will be flawless. Wow, I'm loving it like this. Make sure your neck and your face are a part of the same body. Don't make it detached from your body. If your foundation is a bit lighter from your skin tone or a bit firmer or more pinkier or whatever, sometimes our neck is more red than our face, make sure to drag your foundation down to your neck. For the concealer, you guys know I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Medium uh, 35N. It's my tried and tested and most loved concealer of all times. So especially on the days like this, I don't want to experiment with my concealer, so I will go in with this one. Just applying it to the high point. Also, when you're applying your concealer, make sure to, you know, apply your concealer bit down from your um, lower eyes if you can see how I'm applying it and then blend it towards your eyes and this way you will have more natural finish all the high points of your face because it's a wedding makeup and I will be light I want my under eyes to be a little bit lighter so I'm using the medium shade of Tarte uh, Creaseless Concealer it is also medium shade but it's 33M it's a tad bit lighter than my Tarte Shape Day so I will apply a tiny amount of this one as well and then okay if you want more coverage the trick is to let it sit there for a few seconds 15 to 20 seconds will do the trick so i'm going in with my favorite beauty blenders for concealer and start blending it so first i will start with my nose because i want to give time to this area the most and go in with my forehead first and then i'm going in with this is how you will take the concealer to your under eye area by working like this can you see it will have less creasing will be flawless. Once it all blended, just spray your Max Fix Plus on the, the side of your concealer uh, sponge and dab it again. Blend it very light-handed. You don't want to take back the product to have a light there, right? So take very light-handed. Now till the concealer is settling down there, we will going to contour our face. I have two contour sticks which I love. One is from Milk Makeup and this is in the shade uh, Simmer and one is from NYX in Drugstore and it is in shade I think D. Yeah, D. Wonder Band from Wonder. Sorry, Wonder Stick from NYX. Okay, and this is a bit darker than this one. So what I will do is I will go with this contour side on my chin area because for wedding guests I want to be snatched and for this area of contouring I will go with this. It's a little bit lighter than this one and it will be a little bit out here. Okay, always do stuff which breaks this product. Always, you know, forget to roll back in before putting on the lid. Anyways, then I will go with this beauty blender. I always love this blender for you know contouring uh, part because of this flat end here and I will start with this area lightly okay again I have to spray it with fix plus very light amount before tapping it and this is not a step which you have to follow if you feel like contouring your skin you can go ahead with it otherwise you can also just start with a bronzer if you don't have double chin like me or more this kind of rounded face once we're done with the contouring it's time for the powder now here it gets more trickier not trickier I would say here it can either make your makeup flawless or it can break everything down so applying powder has its rhythm you know <laughs> so for the setting your uh, base of the makeup the powders i have two one is this laura mercier translucent powder and the second one is folklore uh, loose powder in the shade number two this uh, if you guys can see i don't know this laura mercier is a bit more yellow and lighter than this uh, what is the second one folklore one right yeah so i use this laura mercier to the areas where i have applied the concealer and i use this folklore for rest of the, my face not in the area where I have applied the contour. So I will go ahead with Laura Mercier first. I will take this sponge right here and take it. Take a good amount. 
and always, always smooth it out on your hand. Remember guys, how it will look on the sponge is how it will look on your face. So make sure it's smooth out and even on your hand before applying it to your face so that it will not get patchy at one place. Okay, one more trick here guys. If you don't, if you are more on the drier side, especially in this area, you can go ahead with a damp beauty sponge rather than a powder puff. You can use this one if you are more on the drier side. I am more oily on this area, so I always prefer the powder puff rather than the beauty sponge for my powder products. So go ahead and, and then I will take the damp beauty sponge and the second folklore powder, which is a bit more warmer than the Laura Mercier one. And I take it on this side of my beauty sponge, again smooth it out. Very light handed. Okay, before now doing anything, after setting the center of your face, I will go ahead with my Max Fix, Max Fix Plus and spray all over my face. And let it dry. What it will do, it will just melt my powder into the skin with my other products. I don't know, it's my personal choice, but I think this Max Fix Plus, also if you don't want to use Max Fix Plus, there's a Morphe setting spray which is so good. So what it will do, it will just melt everything together and gives you that flawless finish. I mean, personally, I do it four times within my makeup to get that uh, perfect glow and perfect finish on my skin. It's like the foundation, contour, spray, powder, spray, then blush and highlighter and everything, then spray. And then in, everything is finished and again spray. It just makes you everything. I mean, the overall look will be just, mm, I cannot say in words. Now I'm going to do my brows. I'm using the same precisely my brow pencil in the shade number three. Also, uh, for a day like this, you can go up shade darker personally i don't know i don't like to do much to my brows whenever they are too harsh or they are too colored i feel like something is off about my face so i always go for a very natural and neutral finish if you want you can go with a shade darker and make them what make them more bushier or more straight or more whatever you say right so i will just go first brush them off just like i normally do on every day once they are brushed i will go ahead with this pencil side and first i will make a line in any caps and in fact i just tried to do little more but still it is like it's very harsh i was like boom what is there on my eyes yeah that's the thing with me and my brows i never follow any trend on the brows i just keep it as, as it is i like them like and this one okay now i'm moving to my eyes the first thing i always do is set my base because i already used the corrector and little bit of concealer as my eye base and now i'm going to set it with uh mac studio fix plus in the shade mc41 today because I want them to a little bit lighter and the colors to pop up more at a regular basis. Otherwise, I always go with MC42 here. So I'm taking a very fluffy brush, dig it into the powder, removing the excess, and just set it all over. And then before doing anything else, I always curl my lashes to make them ready for the falseness later on. Okay, for my eye makeup, I will use this Morphe 35E Tease the Season palette. As I told you already, like this is one palette which is good for almost all your occasions. I just love this one. This palette right here. So today, I will be using the shade... Um, I think this out of the box for my crease color and some uh, warmer one then the full package and then this not presenting this one this is a dark brown with a little bit of rosiness in it to the outer corner of my eyes okay but first I'm going with this brush it's like the fluffier one but little bit of you know tapered tip so I will go ahead with this out of the box this shade right here take some I always start with the lighter hand I will tap the excess <laughs> okay I will tap the excess I will tap the excess and I will just keep my eyes normal and go ahead with my crease line holding the brush from here the windshield motion back and forth as i said i will do very neutral makeup today because i want all the focus on my skin so i'm not on the brow bone and not on the lid just above the line which i have naturally on my crease just above it and why i'm going above it because i have very little of hooded eyes as you can see but if you don't have hooded eyes you can go with your natural crease line so i have taken a little bit more of my product i mean it's barely on my brush and i'm just flicking it out like this because i want that uh, naturally lifted eyes Okay, no, so now I'm going with this color now presenting. It's a darker brown color. It's like very mad dark brown color, but little bit of rosiness as an undertone, which is very flattering. So I'm using the same brush actually and just um, flat it, I'm saying. <laughs> just tap it on the outer corner of my eyes. Blend that into the upper shade. Going with a cleaner brush, a more fluffier brush, and just blend everything. I will go a bit what I want on this flat brush right here. Spray it a little bit with Max Fix Plus. Apply it to the center of my lid first. Fill the inner corner of my eye and just clean up my and connect it with my outer eye very near to my waterline. I'm going with, with some black mascara to prep my lashes for the fall scenes. I suggest you going for a fall scene, especially for the events like this. And I messed it up. I will clean it later on. Whenever you mess up like this, always let it dry for a minute and then clean it up. Otherwise, you will mess up your whole eyeshadow, right? Lashes are on. And guys, with these nails, it took me like forever to put them on. Coming back to my face, I'm taking my Hula Bronzer in the shade Toasted and on this angled brush. Taking a good amount, blending it on my hand and just going it over my contour. And once it's done, make sure to take your uh, beauty blender from the clean side and press it all over just to make sure your face is not looking powdery. But you know, 
with this technique, whatever is looking on the camera is exactly looking how it is looking on the mirror. So blended, so flawless. I just love the finish. Okay, now blush. Depends on your dress, whatever you are wearing, that kind of pink shade. But with my current look right here, I want a little bit of blush. I don't want to look too pinky, so I am going in with this everything not that but really. With the shade right here, it's called Bronzing Glaze. It's very nice, peachy toned blush, which works best on my skin for this kind of look. So I'm going ahead with this blush right here, taking this much on my. It's a lot. <laughs> Blending it out, even it out on my hand. And the most important product for a wedding guest because of the lights, you need highlight, you know, to shine and to be bright on that day. I'm using this uh, Bobbi Brown highlighting powder in the shade Pink Glow. In the shade Pink Glow, it just a blushing bright shade, you can say. I will use a big powder brush for the blushing uh, for the highlighter today. Take a good amount on the blush and go over uh, that blush shade just to tone it down also and give that shine to my cheeks. So like this. I will not stop here. I need more highlight for my highlight highlight. But before that, I will again use my Max Fix Plus shake it nicely and just till my skin is wet I'm taking my highlight which is again going to break I or one by one I'm taking all my products I don't know why I even I'm not sure how it broke it was okay till yesterday anyways I'm using my favorite highlighter of the time but in wild highlighting powder in the shade precious petal on the sand brush I'm taking a good amount and just going over it. Take a smaller brush, very little on the nose, don't forget the nose at all. Mm -hmm. Next a little, I mean this much. It's a wedding right? you need to shine. Mm -hmm. Take a pop. I use this scrub, this MAC lip scrub. It's such an amazing lip scrub. Always, inve always invest in a good lip scrub and always start off by scrubbing your lips before applying any lip balm or anything before starting your makeup. This way, your lips will be more plumpier and you do not, do not have any flakiness on your lips going on later on. So today, I will, because I have so many highlights on, I will try to keep my lips matte, as matte as possible because I just love glossy lips. Directly going in with the shade Gold from MAC. It's such a nice brown, but more kind of, you know, pinky side of brown shade. Then my favorite lipstick from Sephora is in shade number one. This is how it looks. I, it doesn't have any name. I don't know. Maybe it's, it was in the packaging, which I lost. So I will go in with this one. The trick with the liquid lipsticks is just apply it once and let it dry. So alright guys, I think that's it. This is the final look and my take on modern day wedding guest makeup, which is all focused on the skin with very neutral eyes and neutral lips because we always have red and golds and pinks so it is a bit different from what we traditionally have as a wedding guest so before i go i just want to say if you want to check out more of my videos the links are here and if you do like my video please 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 don't forget to like my video and subscribe and please share it with your family and friends whoever want to attend wedding this season and want to look flawless and beautiful without any professional help so yeah that's it enjoy your day enjoy your time be happy love you Bye bye